The Advent of Sainath in Shirdi Shri Bhivi Narasimha Swamiji begins his book Life of Sai Baba with the question Who is Sai Baba? and states that details like Baba's real name, place of birth, parentage or religion remain obscure. After many years of his stay at Shirdi, Baba told Mahal Sapati that he was born in a Brahmin family at Patri but was brought up by a Muslim Fakir who was his first Guru. And then Gopal Rao Deshmukh of Selu brought up the boy and taught him. People say that Deshmukh was Ramananda in his previous life and Baba was none other than Kabir, his disciple. Some students of Guru Deshmukh threw a brick at Baba, being jealous of the unique love their Guru bestowed on him. The Guru took the blow of the brick on himself and fell down seriously hurt. Thereafter, the Guru gave a cup of milk to the Sishya to drink, thereby transmitting all his powers and siddhis to the young lad. Before breathing his last, the Guru pointed towards west, asking him to go in that direction in which Shirdi is located. The boy took the brick with him in memory of the Guru's sacrifice. This brick was with Baba like a dear companion till it broke. Baba referred to the brick as his Sangini. The young boy of 16, a yogi, sat in deep meditation under a neem tree at Shirdi. Heat, cold, rain never seemed to affect him. None knew his name. As per the mother of Nana Chopdar, he was a young lad of great beauty, fair with blue eyes. It is said even at that time, Bhai Jabai used to give him food. Like the way he came unannounced, the yogi disappeared all of a sudden without anyone's knowledge. Then he came back in 1858 along with the marriage party of Chand Patil. The party alighted at the courtyard of Khandoba temple. On seeing the young lad, Mahalsapati called him a fakir and greeted him with the words, Ya Sai. From that moment, Sai became the fakir's name. He stayed in an old masjid and sometimes under the neem tree. From 1858 to 1918, Baba mostly stayed in Shirdi, its old name being Shiladi. Shila means rock, Di means buddhi. Thus, Shiladi stood for a place where the people of firm mind stayed. Like Ganga, Godavari is said to flow from the locks of Lord Shiva. The old Maharashtra was spread in the north up to Seshatri Parvata and in the south up to the river Bhima. There is evidence to show that Shirdi was part of Pandaripura. This temple town came into being when Sri Krishna and Rukmini stood on the brick with their arms held at their waist at the behest of Pundalika. Pandaripura later became famous as Dakshina Dwaraka. So no wonder Baba called his masjid the Dwaraka Mai. Bhagwan took an avatara, graced the earth, made Dwaraka his residence and performed innumerable leelas. Through his divine words and deeds, he showed that he was Hari. But it is only the devotees who can bring forth the real nature of God. Sainath himself says that, such charita is indeed the stories of the bhaktas, but we do not get the stories of all devotees in full detail. Sri Narasimha Swamiji says in his book Life of Sai Baba that Bhai Jabai and Tatya were foremost in devotion and they were among the first to be with Sai. 
he adds that it is difficult to arrange other devotees chronologically. Swamiji gives the title The Lovers of Baba to the third part of his book. He explains that he is compelled to take up the stories of such devotees about whom fuller details are available. For instance, he takes up the experiences of Sri R. B. Purandre for the above reason but holds that there were other devotees who came much earlier to Baba or were great devotees of Baba. He affirms nevertheless that really Radha Krishna I, Abdul and Nivaskar are brilliant gems of love. They came to Baba in an earlier period but of these we do not get much detail. Om Sairam